<sighs> wow. What a terrible night. <sighs> I guess it's daytime now. It's just, yeah, I slept long enough. Who would have guessed? Uh, I guess we should go out into the world and... Actually, you know what? I have a great idea. We need to get out of here first, though. This might take a while. Not as strong as I used to be since I was put in prison. Oh, wow. That was, that was actually quite quick. Okay, so... First, we're, we're gonna need to start off with getting some some wood, um, and we're gonna we're gonna try to uh, hopefully get our revenge on these guards as soon as possible. Uh, there we go. Let's go a little bit more, and we should be ready to go ahead and get our revenge. Now, using the materials that we had found earlier, hopefully, like I said, we will we will have exactly what we need. Let's go ahead and set this back down and go downstairs. Now. There's a few things we need. We need to start off with making our crafting table. Uh, and then let's lay that down right away. And we will use our materials that we have in our inventory to hopefully come up with something that will allow us to work. Uh, I think we're going to want to start with some sticks. Yes, yes, that's very good. And then we are going to want to do this. And then why don't we make a pickaxe to start so we can move some things around. And then finally, we need to protect ourselves. So let's make a sword. The Ender Sword. I like it. Okay, now, in order to get our revenge, I think we're going to need a couple things from in here. Uh, actually, that torch was giving us quite a bit of light. We'll leave it up for a second here, but we're going to take it with us when we're done. Now, let's go ahead and grab these dispensers to start. Uh, I think they can be used in our in our revenge plan. As well as, we'll take, we'll take the string and the two tripwire traps on either side. There we are. That should be enough. Now... We should probably take these chests with us just so that when we get to our next location, um, we are not worried about being able to store things. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to look for me being posted up in here. I, I'm lucky to have not been caught last night. Uh, apparently, if the guards did come, they didn't check the structures around around the the prison that they had me locked up in. What else do we need? Anything else? No, not that I can think of. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, we're going to want this this to use and our tripwire hooks and our string. I think that should be good. Otherwise, we'll be all right. And we'll pick up this crafting table so that when we find our next place to settle, we will have one with us, as well as our redstone torch. Oh, that is very nice. Now, let's go help, Let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, well, the first thing we need to do is, is get, get new clothing because if you can't tell, we're still in our prison jumpsuit and I don't want to be caught by, by the by the guards from a distance. I'll be very easy to spot. Um, but like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run back to the prison here really quick and, and try to get our revenge. Let's keep our eye open for anything that could possibly hurt us um, on our on our trip back here. So let's let's head up let's head up this hill here and I think like I said, I think I have a, a pretty good idea on what we can do. Now, once the guards are in here, they're they're hopefully oh, there might be some bad guys in here. So let's Let's be safe. I think I hear something. There are some bad guys in here. Come on, fight them. Die, die, die. I know these aren't the guards, or I hope they aren't the guards. I'd be very, very afraid if they were. Okay, we got that one too. Now let's try to get some... Let's try to get going through here. Okay, I see some light. Now, we want the guards to be trapped once they walk in, correct? So why don't we... Um, well, we, we, we don't want to set off anything. We don't want them to know that we're gone. So why don't we go ahead and build this back up in here. Um, like this. And hopefully... Oh, that's wrong. I gotta work fast, though, because I don't want the guards to find out that I am gone. Um, and then we'll put our door back. Just just so that hopefully they don't find us. Now, we need we need something um, to, to, to get them as soon as they walk in here. Oh, this is... this. No, no, no. Um... Oh, this is perfect. We will cut here and um, and here, and then what we'll do is we'll put our our droppers here and here, right? So why don't we? Oh, actually, we need to cut back one more here. Ooh, that's the outside. Wow. Okay, but that's okay. We'll drop that, and then we'll put this guy here as well. Ooh, ooh, we broke the redstone. Oh no. Okay, we'll be able to get out. You know what? That's that's what is important, I think. Um, and then we'll we'll set down this and this, and then we will um. 
Oh wait, no, let's not connect them yet, but we'll get them, we'll get them close to being ready to be connected. Now, finally, we need to add, um, let's add some arrows here and some arrows here. Oh, oops, some arrows into this one as well. And hopefully uh, this will be enough to, to trick them into thinking that, uh, that something's up. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down as well. And and there we go. Now it's now it's a true trap. And we will leave it like this so that, like I said, they think that, that nothing is wrong. Now I hope this works. Okay. They may find out that we're there. Maybe they'll think there's just a malfunction in the door. And they'll try to open it up and hit that tripwire trap. We'll just leave it for now, though. I don't want to worry about it. Now let's keep ourselves armed and, and move slow here so we don't run into any enemies in this hallway. Okay, we look we look to be good. Um, okay, now next step, we, we need to find a new shelter because that one is not reliable enough. So let's take a quick look around around the building um, and, and keep our eye out for anything really nice that we can live in. Uh, I'm not seeing anything yet. So let's let's move down here and we'll, like I said, we'll keep away from, from anything that looks like it wants to attack me. Oh, we, good thing we have food. I'm very happy for that. Let's go ahead and eat up. I don't know who left all this food out here, but man, is it delicious. I guess it's better than nothing, um, is what I should say. Because it's probably just because I'm, I'm very hungry all the time now. <gasps> what is this over here? It looks like some sort of building. Oh, it is some sort of building. I wonder, I wonder what's inside. I don't want I don't want anything or anyone to know we've been here though. So I don't I don't want to give away that we've broken anything. So let's go ahead and check if there's a door. Oh, there is a door here. Um let's make sure there's nothing dangerous. Okay. There is a door here. Uh is there anything on this side to go in? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh how do we get in this door? Um Oh, I've got it. I've got it. We we have this redstone torch, correct? So hopefully we can just power this and get in. Oop, nope, not that one. Oh, that worked. Okay, so we need to be careful, though. I don't want to get locked in once we are in. Ooh, look at the color of this floor. Something evil may live here. Let's check its chest. Um, ooh, tin ingots, a safari net, copper, and fruit punch. Oh, I needed this fruit punch. I hope it doesn't make me woozy and make me fall asleep. Um, that would be terrible. Now, let's go ahead and grab this as well. What can we get rid of? We don't need cotton seeds right now. And this, this is probably very, very expensive. So we'll take that, uh, hopefully maybe to barter with it or, or to use it further down the road. Let's, let's get out of here though. I don't want, I don't want anybody to think that we've been here. Uh, we don't need the stick. Uh, my nighttime is falling once again. What do we do? Uh, we have a bed. Um, what, what do we do? Do we rough it outside? Ooh, there's something big there. You know what? I think we're going to have to take our risk inside here for the night because I, I'm a little bit of afraid that, that, um, I'm more afraid that something will uh, will get us out there than in here. So why don't we go ahead and, and sleep for the, for the night? <sighs> well, that night wasn't nearly as bad as the first one in that cold, cold, damp place underground. But it was, still wasn't the greatest. I, I didn't feel safe, and I, I won't feel safe for quite a while. Okay, so let's get moving out. Um, from here. Ooh, careful. I don't want to run into whatever that thing is. I, it got mad at me, I think. Let's keep moving. Like I said, we're, we're looking for a new place to inhabit just for a short period of time before until we get our, our feet on the ground and we can hopefully find out who helped us out, out of the prison. Um, we, we just need a, a stable place, maybe, maybe get a solid, st stable food source. <gasps> what is this here? <gasps> it looks like somebody had a, had a rudimentary farm going or something. And it was attacked. Oh, we may we may be able to use this for future. What is that? For future use, let's let's go let's go over to that that structure there. Um, let's work our way slowly down the hill so we don't take any damage, um, and we'll keep moving. Look at oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh, it looks like an oasis. It looks like. It looks like somewhere where we can, we, we may be able to hide out. We're going to have to do some tests, though, and make sure that, that nothing nothing else is trying to inhabit this place. Um, so, so let's get in there. Move nice and slow along the shore. Hopefully nothing can see me. 
We don't want any any trouble. We we just want to be free. So let's let's get in here. Um, let's look for traps. Okay, I don't I don't see any traps in here yet. Uh, I'm not I'm not very comfortable with the way this carpet is shaped. Um, let's check these chests. So we'll, we'll walk around the carpet for now. I hear I hear weird noises outside. I'm I'm very nervous. Um, ooh, food! And you know what? There there is a lot of room in this. Okay, let's check under here and make sure that there's. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything bad under the carpets. We should be safe. Um, I don't like having so many doors on the house though. So why don't we go ahead and place down um, our our chest here, our couple of chests here, I should say, and uh, and store a few things. We we don't need the safari nets right now, uh, as well as these ones too. So we'll just dump them all in here. Very very nice. And then we will also fix this carpet. So hopefully, if something gets out here, or if something finds us out here, we can just scram and they won't think anything about it. Now, let's go ahead and drop uh, other things in the chest that we don't need. Ooh, the chandelier seems like uh, something nice to hang up in the middle of the house. So why don't we do that? It seems to be right here. Nice. Okay, so we got chandelier now. Uh, nothing in that chest. Um, there are two beds already, but why don't we why don't we lay down another one uh, or another, uh, another two um, and, and make, this, make this house into a home for us at least. Now, hopefully, like I said, we're, we're not inhabited. We're gonna we're gonna kind of hang out here until we find our, our own footing and, and hopefully build our own house. Now, let's go ahead and make ourselves an axe so that we can take out some of these doors and uh, and hopefully make it a little bit more safe around here for us. Okay, so I think we're gonna keep the door out to the ocean uh, like that, but we'll, we'll take out both of these side doors so that we can so that we um. Ooh, you know what? This is not gonna match if I do this. I don't like that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <sighs> we're gonna have to do it. I mean, it's the only way, right? Because it's the only way we're gonna be safe for now. So, so we'll we'll keep it like that. And now we have we have a a, a little bit of a home. Uh, I think I want to go out adventuring a little bit more here. Let me just throw a few more things into the into our chest, and uh, we'll keep the food on us because that's very important. Uh, we don't need the potions of speed anymore because we're not running. We're exploring now. And uh, tripwire traps and all this good stuff that we can use to make potions. Ooh, osmium boots. I wonder where we got that from. That must have been from uh, something that we killed. Let's go ahead and put that on instead of this. Uh, these these issued uh, boots from the prison. Uh, maybe to make them think that we're just a guy in an orange suit and we're just a weirdo that likes that likes to wear orange suits. I don't know. Maybe if the guards see us in the distance, they won't be very intelligent. I hope so. Uh, let's set down this stuff as well. Uh, zombie head. Ooh, we had a zombie head? That's very cool as well. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, and set that up here as a trophy. Now, we'll leave that booking quill with the mysterious note from, from somebody and we will... There we go. Now we should be good to explore. Let's head out and uh, and see what else we can't find. Now we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna remember this is home. Uh, hopefully we don't lose it. But let's let's go let's go further into the forest here and just take a look around uh, at the things we can find. Now what is this mushroom garden? Oh, so it gives us multiple mushrooms. That's awesome. We should probably break a few of these just so we can make mushroom stew if necessary. Um, if worse comes to worse, then then at least we'll have mushroom stew. And um, let's keep moving. Let's keep let's keep our, our light on our feet so that we don't we don't get busted here. Um, ooh, what is this? Oh, a red apple. Oh, can I get that, please? Please be ready. Is this ready? Come on. We got a delicious apple. Oh, thank God! Something nice and fresh for us. Not not some old for some old food found in in some cupboards. Now I think there's something over here, or at least I, I thought I spotted something when we were going to the shores. So let's let's check that out as well. Uh, it should be right through here. Yes, yes, there it is. Uh, this is what what I was looking for. Um, they they may call me the mad scientist, but I have I have many things put well together uh, to survive out here in the wild. Now let's go ahead and check these chests. Ooh, Ender Pearl, another one. Sweet. Another music disc. We're not gonna grab that. A knowledge note. Ooh, beautiful. And some French toast. I don't know if we should trust it, but we're gonna have to for now, right? Let's take a look around. Okay, we seem to be good. Uh, ooh, an inscriber's looking. <gasps> this will get us started on our applied energetics or the things we need for applied energetics, which is awesome because we definitely need that. Now, I think I can absorb these knowledge notes, right? 
I can. So if, if I if I, I think I can read them is, is what it counts as. So I read both of those there. And so let's let's go ahead and check out what else is here. Some conduit probes, awesome for uh, for automation here. Uh, so we can have the world work for us instead of us working for the world anymore. And uh, some bread. Bread always keeps, uh, at least at least here it does. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, let's take a little bit more of a look around, and uh, and hopefully we can find something. Oh, what is this? What have I come upon? Oh, this is cool. What are we What are we looking at here? This seems like something that may may try to kill us. I heard the zombie. Is there another one? <gasps> okay, we need we need to get rid of that as, as soon as possible. No, no, no. Oh no. Okay, we'll just fight him. Fight him off. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, two. Okay, two zombies and then and then we'll try to get Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay, we got it. Now let's go ahead and eat up before um before we die this this awesome zucchini. Oh, delicious. Awesome. Okay. Oh, there's two spawners. I didn't know there were two in here. Oh, let's get rid of this one as well. Okay, okay, so we got oh some more dark steel awesome. I don't know why we have so many nets Maybe maybe we can start capturing animals and and have them work for us now There was something else I saw just past this. Oh, where where was it? I think it, I think it was over in this direction there. There it is um, It seems to be some sort of castle shape I, I don't know what it is, but let's go ahead and go up into it and, and see if, if we can't use, use this to our advantage Just jump in this water here. We'll be okay. Let's take a look around. What, what, what happened here? This is so, so beat up. There's, there's nothing here. This is spooky. Okay, you guys, it looks like it's becoming evening again. So we need to venture our way back home before, before nighttime happens. So. What is this? Some sort of trap, it looks like. Oh, why don't we take our, our time in, in trying to defuse it? Oh, dispensers with fireworks! What for? Is there some sort of celebration that I, I don't know about? Should we take this? It looks like there's there may be some sort of trip to it. But, but where's the button? There's got to be a lever or something for it. Interesting. I don't know why that's there. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll try to put some of these guys away. Uh, none of them seem to be. Some to, seem to be. They just filled up our inventory. Oh no. Okay, well that's fine. You know what? Let's like I said. Let's get home before night falls and we we run into any bad guys. Okay, and as the sun sets, we shall go to bed. Oh, a pirate ship. Could that could that have something to do with the people that tried to save me? I guess we'll find out tomorrow after I sleep. Hey you guys, what is up? Riptrick here, and I hope you liked this episode of The Mad Scientist. If you did, uh, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you all have a great day. Uh, like I said, I am trying something new with the series, and, and if you do enjoy it, I, I really would love feedback, or if you have any ideas for the series, uh, clearly, obviously, I have a path that I would like to follow right now. But uh, if you guys have any cool ideas, please let me know. As well as I'd like to remind you guys that I do live stream over on twitch.tv uh, slash ripped rick. So if you guys want to check that out, you can find that link down below this video. I'll see you guys later and have a great day.